Hello, I'm Congressman Peter Welch. I'm running for re-election to serve Vermonters as your representative in the United States Congress for the next two years. For the past 14 years, it's been my honor to do this job, and I've tried every day in every way to do it in the Vermont way. Mutual respect, civility, reaching across the aisle, finding practical solutions to complex problems. This election is the most important in my lifetime. We face a global pandemic that we haven't experienced in over a hundred years. We face an economy that's reeling as a result of the steps we had to take to protect ourselves from the virus. We're facing the reality of climate change on the march. And we're finally coming to grips with the reality of the legacy of slavery and the systemic racism that exists in this country. And we're horrified by what happened to George Floyd in Minneapolis. These next two years are going to be crucial to the future of Vermont and our country. First, we have to crush that virus. And that means we have to have policies that provide help to states that are taking the measures that Vermont is for tracing and testing and quarantining to make sure we're on top of the virus and don't let it spread. Second, we've got to get aid back to the states, to individuals and to small businesses. This is a time when through no fault of yours, no fault of many of our businesses, they're reeling as a result of the effects of the virus. I am a strong supporter of significant federal aid to individuals, to small businesses, including our restaurants and nonprofits, and to our state and local governments. Third, we finally have to start getting broadband to every single corner of Vermont. People can't go to school without broadband. People can't work without broadband. And oftentimes, people can't get access to health care without broadband. The time for the deployment of broadband throughout rural America, throughout Vermont, is here. And finally, we have to renew our commitment to democratic norms. We all revere our Constitution and the rule of law. It's been under assault. And one of my major goals will be to restore as much as I possibly can our mutual respect for the benefits and importance of abiding by the rule of law in honoring our Constitution. It would be my honor to serve Vermont for the next two years that are going to be crucial to the recovery of our health, our economy, and our democratic traditions. Thank you.